Merry Christmas! Welcome back to my channel. And today in this video, I'll be showing you guys how to make this delicious Christmas mac and cheese. So first, I'm using over a pound of boiled macaroni. This has already been boiled macaroni that has been washed and cleaned, yeah. And in here, I have three green seasoning cubes as well as a hot pepper cube. And I will leave a link below. So you'll need four cheese. I'm using extra sharp cheddar, mozzarella, um, a mild cheddar, and another mild cheddar. And there are two cups each in each bag. So here you're going to need creme fraiche. I really don't know how to pronounce this, but if you don't have this, use sour cream. You will also need salt, of course. And you're going to need milk and pepper, which I forgot to mention. But here I have my butter. I am just adding in the butter to the macaroni. And now I am just mixing it to make sure that it melts down. And my eye is on low, okay? Very low. So after it's melted down, I'll be adding in my creme fraiche. As I mentioned, you can also use sour cream if you do not have this. And so... Now, I will just be mixing the cream fresh with my macaroni. And as you can see, it's a little bit hot, but it's not that hot to the point that it would even burn the macaroni. So here's the time to add in your extra sharp cheddar. If you don't like it too sharp, just use mild. But like I said before, we are using extra sharp cheddar. Okay. So now I'll be adding in my mild cheddar cheese. And I really like mild cheddar a lot because I just feel like it's not too strong and you can make it balanced. And here you will also use your mozzarella. And I'm just adding that into my macaroni and cheese as well. And now I will just be mixing in the macaroni and the cheese. And I will just be making sure that the cheese, as it's melting a bit, it's not going to just go all over the place or get stuck and in clumps. Because that is what you do not want to happen. So now we will add in milk. Okay. And now we will just mix the milk in with the cheese because this is what's going to bring the cheesy sauce together. I know this might look like a weird way of doing it, but this has always been the best method for me personally. So this is why I always kind of do this method. And so now I'll be adding in my extra sharp cheddar. I'm just adding in the rest of it because I do like to go bit by bit when it comes to this. And I'll be using some more of my mozzarella, but not all because we want to use some of the mozzarella on the top of the macaroni once it's finished being mixed. But anyway, just mix your mozzarella and your cheddar cheeses all together with your macaroni and the milk. And right now at this moment, it might feel a little tough, but I promise you, when we start adding more milk, it's not going to be as tough, okay? So as I mentioned before, we're going to add in more milk. And now we are just going to mix this all together. We are just going to make sure that this macaroni and cheese is coming together perfectly. And as you can see, the sauce is just now starting to actually develop in the pot. And that is what you are looking for. And it's not that hard to turn either. So, in the meanwhile, I would also mention that if you feel it's too thick... You can still continue to add um, milk. But if you want your mac and cheese to stick together when it's being baked, then continue to do this. But for me, I'm adding milk. <laughs> and so now you can add more salt. And yeah. <laughs> and now you can add in your black pepper as well. And I'm sorry, I don't do measurements as well for cooking. <laughs> And so now you can just mix all of this together. 
And from the distance, it doesn't look like it has much pepper, but trust me, if you look up close to it, it really, really does. And I would suggest you taste first before adding the egg in. So I've already tasted it and it was fine. So now I'm just cracking an egg with my one hand. Mm -hmm. And so, yeah. So I'm just going to beat that one egg. And if you want to use two to make it hold together even more, that's up to you. But I'm just going to add in my one egg and I'm just going to actually just mix it all around afterwards. After we're done scraping. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, finally. <laughs> but this is the perfect texture. It also, when you add in the egg, it kind of makes it easier to mix in the beginning. I don't really know why, but yeah. We're just going to continue to mix, 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 mix. And so here I have a cooking pan. And the eye is off. It's been off for an hour, so don't don't even worry. I've kind of been busy. <laughs> But yes, we are just going to take that macaroni and cheese that's in that pot and we are just going to pour it in. And look at that. That is the kind of texture you want because I promise you, your macaroni and cheese will stick together. You won't have to worry about it falling apart. And now we will just spread the macaroni and cheese in the cooking pan or cooking sheet or whatever <laughs> we'll just <laughs> spread it out and now we will be using some of our mild cheddar and this is like the third bag because i did mention in the beginning that we needed four bags for like this whole entire recipe but um yes i'm just using the mild cheddar and i'm just spreading it on top because I'm being a perfectionist as normal. And now we're going to do the same thing with the mozzarella because I feel like cheddar, cheese, and mozzarella just kind of make a nice appearance. I mean, it, it's still cheese. It's going to taste wonderful, but I just feel like it just makes it look nice and cute and fancy just the way I really, really like it. And now this is optional. I'm going to use some parsley flakes. And I'm just going to sprinkle them on top of my macaroni and cheese so that when it pops in the oven and after you take it out of the oven, it would have a nice appearance. And this is just for um, decoration purposes. And so now I have aluminum foil and I'm just going to put my aluminum foil on the top. But I will mention that you should just punch some little small um uh, sides of the aluminum foil so that the macaroni and cheese doesn't stick as it is in the oven and so all i'm doing is just folding in the aluminum foil well so here i am i am just gonna um put this macaroni and cheese in the oven at um 375 fahrenheit for about um i would say 55 minutes or so because the macaroni and cheese was cooked and after your 55 minutes, this is my delicious macaroni and cheese that I've presented to you guys. Thank you so much for watching my video and have a wonderful Christmas. Merry Christmas. Love you guys. Goodbye.